If you're looking to sponsor the Anything Goes podcast and have your business promoted on this show, you can contact sponsor anything goes at outlook.com or you can call 07584 650 203 for more information. Make sure you click the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click the notifications button to be notified for when my next podcast goes live. You can also follow me on my social media platforms to find out who my latest guest is. I hope you enjoy this week's episode. Thank you. Boom, we're on. Today's guest, we've got Hero Roy Larner. How are we, brother? Nice to meet you, James. Yeah, nice to meet you. First of all, thanks for coming on the show. Sure, you're welcome. Um, and my eyes, you're a hero, mate. Um, the Lion of London Bridge. You fought against terrorists who were killing people. You threw your neck in the line. Um, you're now fighting a big case. You're not receiving. You're not getting received compensation because uh, previous convictions. Yeah. But every man, in my opinion, has got a past. But not every man is willing to sacrifice their life yeah. to help save others. And for you, you should be knighted. You should have a statue on London Bridge. You were stabbed seven times. Yeah. Your neck was slit. You nearly died. Um, it's a noble thing you've done. And uh, yeah, it's a pleasure sitting across from you to hear your story. Yes. Um, first of all, how are you? Um, getting there. Bit of, they say the news knocks you back a bit. Yeah. Um, but you just got to keep going and try and fight these things. Yeah. Um, physically, um, my arm is still not working, or never will work, that's probably my left arm. Um, still waiting for counselling, um, not had no counselling sessions yet, so yeah. every day's a battle still. Yeah, well, first of all, you're looking great. Cheers. You're looking well, <laughs> Thank you. um, compared to some of the photos yeah. that I've seen you in hospital. Yeah. We'll go right back to the start as well, Roy, where you grew up and stuff, and uh, you've always been from London? I've always been from London. Lived in Peckham, lived on the same estate for 50 years, moving back and forth. Yeah. Mum's lived there for 50 years. Um, yeah, brought up in Peckham. Um, and how's life been for, for you before the London terror attack? Um, ups and downs. I mean, you have your problems. Um, I had a few problems. I had a drug problem for a little while. Um, but I've, I say, since the terror attack, I've left that alone now since the last few months. The last six months, I've stopped taking anything. Get myself uh, physically back. Problem wise, tough estate growing up on. Um, but I, I was swap it for the world. Yeah. Um, growing up in Peckham, I mean, it's been, you've got a local football team there. Yeah. Um, we can sit and slag um, housing estates and schemes yeah. where we're brought up, which is rough areas, but there's not many people who would be willing to sacrifice their life, and I'll say it again, to yeah. help save others. So people yeah. can judge. You wouldn't get some tough. Um, running out there fighting people nah, I believe I think it's just being brought up on the years in the state yeah, that's made you um, yeah, who you are who and, you are to, yeah and, and do these things exactly and we come from tough areas where we are surrounded by drink, yeah. drugs and violence where yeah. it might seem normal for the average guy it might seem normal for us but it doesn't make us bad people it's all we know I think it's way growing up and just yeah. makes you stronger yeah so going straight into the terror attack start yeah. from that day what was your what was the lead up to it before it happened? The lead up was um, I was actually um, I was actually sofa surfing down that way at the time for some friend's ass. Um, I remember it was Derby Day. I uh, can't remember who I betted on. Um, that was in the day in the daytime. Then you had Champions League in the evening, which I think it was maybe Liverpool win Madrid. Um, and it was one of the hottest days of the year, which um, it was a nice day. There was loads of people out. There was um, a lot of people come back for the racing, um, plus the Champions League. The Borough Market is always a busy place nowadays. Um, and with that, I was watching the Champions League, just around the corner from where I was attacked. Um, very good, I mean, it was a good day, it was a good friendly day. And then after the Champions League, I was going home, I just had one more pint in the black and blue with a couple of the staff people and that. And, um, and you never expected then what happened. I mean, we was one of the last ones to get stabbed. 
yeah. um, before they got shot, which you, you, we didn't even know what was going on at the time a terror attack was happening. Yeah. How does that bring, how you're speaking about that just now, how does that mentally affect you? It, it brings back memories because it's still fresh in my mind because I've just had the, um, the eight week inquest into the, um, the London Bridge terror attack, which I've been shown. I was shown graphic details, CCTV, of what happened, which they wasn't shown in. Um, sorry, it okay. wasn't shown well, in. Um, they wasn't shown in uh, court. I wasn't allowed to show that in court. Yeah. So I was shown privately the CCTV, um, which, in one way, it was a closure for that bit because I waited two years for it. It was still stuff in my memory that I couldn't even remember at all. Yeah. Um, I kept going back to London Bridge, kept going back to the place, and I kept thinking, there's bits that come back to me where I got attacked. I didn't know which way I ran afterwards, because I'd pour in the blood. Um, I must have collapsed outside. But being shown the CCTV privately by the police, um, it brought back a lot of memories. And do you know what? It makes me feel a bit better. It brings back memories a lot, but it makes me feel good because... There could have been more people killed that day. Yeah. There could have been those kids in that, in that restaurant. There was families eating. Um, luckily, I was, I think there was three of us. I was the one that got mostly stabbed. There was two other people that got, that got stabbed on the way out. I think they got stabbed one and stabbed each. Yeah. Um, but luckily, that was, they could have killed kids in that restaurant. Yeah. They could have killed. And that's scary to they think. Was, this is your own backyard. So when yeah. you came out of the pub, there was three men ambushing people, killed, um, stabbing where, people. Where the pub I was in, They've already they've already um, killed eight people that time. There's 48 people that have been stabbed. We was the last ones, and where the pub was, it was like on a um, it was like on a corner, so we couldn't see people what was going on until they actually got onto the door, and then it's like kicking the someone locked the door quick, and that's when panic all up, all up. Um, and they kicked the doors in for the uh, terrorists. Now I thought there was. You don't know what it was. I didn't see the, t the uh, suicide belts they had on. I thought it was something to do with football. Um, it's only where I see the Arsenal, bloke in the Arsenal top. Um, his mate pulled out a knife and started talking about Allah, Islam and things like that. I was still sitting on a chair like I am now, like an idiot. He's waving a knife in front of me. And it's only then when he stabbed me twice in the stomach, chest, that I've actually jumped up and reacted. Um... Jumped up and started, started fighting for my life, really. Yeah. But me started fighting for my life has given people a chance to get but, Yeah, yeah run away. So you yeah. sacrificed basically your own because life. Because there's only the door where I was fighting with them, mm -hmm. or the back door. I didn't know there was a, like, there's no other way out. So were the Arsenal tops on? He actually went past me. Um, it was the other two that actually started stabbing me. Did you me. think that was a Arsenal supporter? Did you thought that was like, as people trying to, did you have a mobile um, top on or anything? Or? Do you know what? Could have been brave enough. Yeah. <laughs> to come to South London. <laughs> did you did you have a like a Mowall top on or anything? No, no, colours? I never like say no, I had no football yeah. top on. Um it was Liverpool, I think, Real Madrid that were playing in the final. And you stood up and says, I'm Mowall. Um I actually said, Fuck you, I'm Millwall. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been but I've been stabbed twice uh, by then. Yeah. But still it's brave. I had to fight. Yeah. I mean I should fight for my life. Yeah. Um But me giving like 20 seconds, half a minute me fighting them, like trying to fight them. The other ones try to get through. It's give people a chance to get out of the way. Yeah. Um, a lot of people got out of the way. I was, we was drinking, I was with um, an old boy and he's an eight year old bloke and his boy. Luckily they got out unscathed. Yeah. Um, they, as I say, they, they did stab two other persons that run the wrong way. Instead of running the other way, they would have got out. They run into a like, dead end and the bloke with the Arsenal top, I think. He caught him as they tried to run past him. Yeah, dirty, dirty, um, barbaric stuff. It's, yeah, um, I mean, I got stabbed a slash eight times in the um, in the black and blue. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't even know the injuries I had until I was in hospital. Um, I've seen the CCTV now. I've, I've actually, they haven't shown me where I got out of the place. I've actually come out of the place because um, I must have been attacking them or must be really fighting off, but also I must be fighting for my life. At the time to receive so many injuries, because I mean, as you see, the stab in neck, uh, my ear was hanging off, but my arm was just, there must have been a stab wound where they tried to just pull me, and my head was slashed. Um, I've seen the CCV, or when I left the restaurant, 
Now they must be looking for other people then. I um, I was collapsed at the end of the road and then the, the local police must have just come on the time then. Um, and they was coming towards us. So it's come and we attack us again because I was stumped on the, um, on the floor getting bandaged up. But luckily the armed response unit turned up um, and then all, you, all, the, all I could hear then is the shooting going on, which... Just the gunshots killing them? Yeah, killing them. As I'm getting bandaged up. Did I just, you see that? I, I heard it. I see the... the um, because I was just... They was put me behind a light. It was like a wheelie bin with a shield around me because the... Um, I think the, the uh, armor response unit was coming from both sections then. And within seconds then, it was just like just shooting. There's yeah. like 50 rounds of bullets. How long did it take for the armed response to come? You, the, I mean, with the inquest, it said it's from the first person they knocked down on London Bridge to me, to me, until um, they got shot, was eight minutes. It's a long time, isn't it? It's a lot of damage they've done in eight minutes. Yeah. Um, as I say, the place was packed. Luckily, it was people leaving after the um, Champions League final, making their way home, which five minutes extra, they would have done a lot more damage. It's so scary to think, and it's so scary to think it's on your own backyard that yeah. these kind of things happen and are happening I mean, to just, frequently. Yeah, to them to just knock people over and then slashing women's throats. I mean, you just can't, what goes through their minds. Did you see dead bodies around you? No, I didn't, because we were the last ones. Out? We, I was the last one to be, so one the last, I was the last one to be attacked. Mm -hmm. um, so whatever's gone on before, I never knew nothing about that, about that till a couple of days after in hospital. So, when you got stabbed, was there a time that you thought maybe you were going to die? Do you know what? And my mate said in his statement, he said he phoned me. I was having my phone on me and saying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Um, the police, in the police car, they showed me this, the um, camera. They was just telling me to hang on. I mean, I did, all I thought, I got stabbed once in the uh, chest and stomach. I never knew my arm was, my ear was hanging off, my neck was, it was just the adrenaline that was yeah. running. That was just probably fighting mm -hmm. for my life, which, as the story goes now, probably saved countless lives. Again, for me, you're a hero, it doesn't, and now you're fighting two years later for compensation, which they've knocked you back for because you've got criminal convictions. And yes, I'm speak, I speak. And right, I'm going to be honest, and I'm sorry for mentioning it, but you're homeless just now. You're I'm still there. homeless. Yeah. Um, they put me in a hospital, hostel straight after I come out of hospital because that's, that's their duty. Because of all the benefits situation, it wasn't being paid. I had to get out of there. Then the post-traumatic stress this piece so of PTSD. PTSD. Yeah, that kicks in. I started arguing with them. They do me no justice, but... But I you're did, angry. I was very angry. Do you know what I mean? I'm you're very angry. angry. I mean, I had to keep fighting for myself. I was getting no help. Um... I mean, even two years, after, nearly after two years there, I've not received one counselling session. I've had four assessments done by a psychiatrist. They've all diagnosed post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, trauma. Just need that help, which you have to do things yourself in a way. Yeah. I mean, I've had some good friends around me. Um, Mill all been good as well, trying to help me out. So do you not think, obviously, the government, they can be, let's face it, they can be fuckers because... Um even the Manchester bombing attack, we were speaking about that earlier. Yes. The terrorists are getting legal aid paid for, but the victims aren't They're not even, getting it. Same as the Landry Bridge. Yeah. The, That's backwards. Yeah, the families who died, they're not getting no thing of it. The, um, the Manchester one, they're fighting for the um, inquest. I mean, I believe as well, one of the mothers of the inquest, of the um, victims has died because she was getting get no counselling. She took her own life. It's just sad stories you hear all the time. Have you contemplated suicide yourself after the attacks? Do you know what? Well, I'm a strong person, but it was very close. Um, very strong person. I said I'd never do that. I've never thought about that. This and that. I just isolated myself. And I just cried myself to sleep some nights. Yeah. Um, which weren't helpful. I mean, I mean, even down to... Like, I fell out with my ex. I haven't seen my little one. I've just... I just totally blanked friends. I totally didn't go football. Whereas when I go in person, it just mucked my life up. Yeah, but it that's just... the trauma that the fact it might happen again, the yeah. fact that um, you're lucky to be here. There's just so many things you can that's take the main into factor. consideration. When I look at things now, um, I'm trying to do things myself where the main thing is I'm still here. 
dead, dead bastards are dead. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's all you can call them. I mean, it's, yeah. I don't know what you... Yeah, there's, I don't even think there's a word um, no. you could call the bastards. No. You're, you're right, they're bastards, because yeah. to kill innocent people and victims and, and because Stump. of religion or beliefs or whatever it is, there's no... There's, there's, there's no excuse. No, that. I mean, the good thing is, well, oh, I has been a mill's poor. We've been put through much. <laughs> <laughs> He's much disappointment in all our life. Um, um, but the old, like, football world, especially in this country, yeah. and abroad, has all, like, give comments, positive comments, which makes me feel, mm -hmm. himself, makes me feel better. Yeah. I've done something right for once. Yeah. Um, I'm not a perfect person, but... Um, not a bad person either. Yeah, but again, Roy, nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes, and no. I says it right at the start. It doesn't matter your past. It doesn't matter no. anybody's past. Every human being makes mistakes, yeah. but not every human being is willing to sacrifice their yeah. life to help save others. You yeah. did that. That for me, I did. You yeah. should be fucking knighted. You I should be that. sitting in, the, in <laughs> Buckingham Palace drinking tea and having yeah. dinner with the Queen because what you did. There's no award. There's nothing that can say enough thanks for what you did because the fact mm. that you're homeless the fact that you're not be getting compensation the fact that you're struggling with PTSD and you've not had counselling sessions the fact that you're not getting the backing and the help yeah. shows me how much the government are failing the people yeah and it's scary to think I mean even straight off coming out of hospital um, I met someone um, Phil Chapman from who used to be an SAS man and he even took a thing for me and said the SAS, the SAS people I said what I did was they, they get trained for it. You don't realise what happens in that situation. It's just, you're not trained for them sort of things. Um, which was nice for him come and meet us, things like that, and said that little thing. And How long were you in hospital for, Roy? I was in for two weeks, which I'm a very lucky person for being stabbed so many times. None of them hit actually the organs. Because people were getting stabbed with one stab wound. They were dying. They were just dying in people's arms. Um... Must be, I must have been uh, fighting for my life, dancing all over the place or just trying to get out of the way, which I was a very lucky person in, in that world, in that, in that way. And, um, yeah, and the second time was saving people's lives. But you hear the stories come afterwards, because at the time, you don't realise what you've done, um, which I can hold me head that way. Yeah, I you should be very proud. You should be very proud yeah. and... Um, there's not many people would have done it, and you did, so it doesn't matter yeah. what they say. The past is the past for a reason. See, when you, obviously, it happened and you were in hospital, did yeah. everyone want a piece of you? Everyone wanted a piece of me. I mean, I had comments from all over the world. Um, there's a lot of things, I mean, even the press, things like that. But where I was, I was probably so overwhelmed what happened. I wasn't really still... Digesting it, Yeah, really. still right. And then you get stories come out. Of other things, there was a thing come out, I think it happened six months before, with some students. I said a few racist words, I'm wrong, I hold my hand up, I, I paid the price for it. Um, they don't tell you the full story where I was more worried about the dogs being attacked, because one of them does snap. Okay, I should never use certain words. Okay, I went to the court, I got paid the price for that. Um... The only thing I feel sorry for is my mum tried to put me up. Um, but where my trauma, the post traumatic stress come in, she said I was acting weird and this and that. And she had to, like, tell me to move out of there, in a way, yeah. Getting jokes with me because she couldn't cope. She's an 80-year-old woman. Um, we still see each other. We still yeah. um, meet up with things like But she just... It hit me badly. Yeah, she couldn't maybe look at her son maybe struggling and seeing the pain. Of course. But let's face it, I'm telling you now, Roy, your mum will be proud of you for what yeah, you did. Yeah, oh, she is. And she'll and don't ever let anyone take yeah. that away from you. Don't care what the press say. Yeah. You did something six months ago. Yeah. You've made a mistake. But the fact that you fucking saved lives. Yeah. Sh it, it, it's, it I mean, look, straight really after they done, uh, I think it's about a week, a couple of weeks after the uh, terror attack, they done um, a fundraising man in the bar market. And the... There's one woman I think it was, it might be the family, that said thank you. I never got their names. They was in, I don't know if they was in the restaurant that time, or just left. But they said thank you, like, just, like, I had a tear in my eyes. Yeah. It was, um, yeah. Yeah, you should be proud. You yeah. should be proud. Yeah, and that's, uh, I had more tear if I chuffed yeah. away. Yeah, and we'll touch on it again. Yeah. The past is the past. You've made mistakes. Yeah, of course. But what you did, mate, is, it's a, it's a, 
is something you should be majorly yeah. proud of. But I'm hoping moving forward for the future that things doors open for you and because and, you're clearly a good guy. I've been speaking to you all day and you've got a, a, a big good heart. Either. Yeah, and I don't figure that at the time. Uh -huh. Time is a good either because you've been um, on. Um, all the news networks all around the world. Piers Morgan's been backing you. You've had a lot of good support. He's back the other week uh, yeah. when he heard the news. I'm just hoping he puts his... Um, he keeps talking about a crowdfunding thing as well and stick it up for me. Let's just hope he responds as well mm -hmm. um, and backs me up. Yeah. Um, I believe he will win. As much as he talks and it, if he's got your back, then he will back you 110%. Yeah. Um, as much as it's controversial, he he believes in stuff like this. He believes that you do yeah. deserve compensation. And he's one of the most, well, outspoken men in the UK, in the world just now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And the fact that he has your corners shows that you're doing something right. Yeah. I mean, I read the comments on some of the paper, I think the Daily Mail, saying it's about 1,400 comments. I think I had 12 that were... Negative. Negative, yeah. You're going to get that, mate. Yeah. You're going to get that. You're yeah. Going to get... I don't like reading things, but... Yeah. You um, can't help it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't help it because we kind of want that. If we did the right thing, because you'll probably, even in your mind, probably go over it and say, did I do the right thing? Yeah. Or did that not? But and the, um, the police put me on a, we, 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 uh, so I don't go the wrong way. Yeah. They yeah. put one of them courses last year. I shouldn't have ever went on it, but I had to do it. I thought it was um, something they put me on. I didn't have a clue. They keep telling me now it was a voluntary, but I've done that. Mm -hmm. Um, that was wrong of them keeping an eye on me for a little while. You just want to get on with your life, build yeah. like build your future. Is that because certain people were in contact with you? I think maybe it was because they, they set up the um how was it? There was a there was a, a marches straight after the mm -hmm. the uh, terror attack, yeah. and everyone wanted to get a piece of me. Yeah. And I think they was probably looking at that sort of thing to see whether I was going to go the other way. Yeah. But be honest, I've just kept myself and isolated myself for about a year, uh -huh. which I'm an outgoing person. Do you think you've become more of a recluse then? Because oh, definitely, yeah, um, definitely. But the fact that you're clean, the fact that you're not drinking, the fact that you're not dabbling in any drugs, yeah. because going through some of that trauma that you yeah. went through, yeah, that's a perfect excuse to go yeah. and hide and get full of coke or whatever the fuck it is yeah. to numb that pain. I mean, since Christmas today, I've left everything uh -huh. alone. I still have the odd bottle of beer, be socialised, mm -hmm. but um. Yeah, I feel the few, like my head's in the right place now. Yeah, good. And hopefully I can fight these things, appeal against yeah. the uh, compensation. The best time to fight it is when you're clear, you're clear headed. Yeah. Fight it and then create enough noise that you get enough back. And backing. hopefully in the future I can give something back. Yeah. And do something positive. Even for some kids. For but yeah, now even telling your story yeah. now is going to get hundreds of thousands of people. So. It's um, you're doing something yeah. positive. You've clearly put your hands up and well, yeah, I even admitted your mistakes. Kids come up to me, ask for selfies and things like. Okay, last year I probably like would get out of the way of them sort of things. I wouldn't yeah. talk to anyone. I mean, it's nice of them to be interested. How are you getting treated at Millwall? Millwall have been that was good last year, but I didn't really go too much because of the trauma. The crowds were a problem. This year I've just mm -hmm. um, just um, going back this year. There's a big rumor going around Millwall at the moment. Um, there's a Swedish uh, Swedish bloke that owns Usky Chocolate, mm -hmm. um, which is a chocolate drink. And he came up, he heard of my story, and he, this is the story I'm hearing from Millwall, and it's probably unsent true. Um, he's come out, he heard about my story, he came over to Millwall, started seeing what Millwall was about. Now he's just, um, Millwall just had their biggest sponsorship deal in history by Usky Chocolate. They're, they um, they sponsor uh, McLaren. F1 and all that. So he's done, they've done a five year. I'm still waiting for a season ticket off him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or a chocolate drink. <laughs> or a chocolate drink would be nice. Yeah. Is there, so again, but everybody's all this and that and say they'll do this. And, but again, unless you see it, unless it happens, yeah. it's I mean, all it's just going back to Millwall now again. Hopefully, get there to watch the football. Mm -hmm. It's got to be people still interested. And still, of course, like, because yeah. you're finding one of the biggest cases out there in yeah. the UK just now. It's massive because are you the only one that's not getting compensation? I'm the only one that's not getting compensation, yeah. Out of everybody? Out of everyone. And, um, uh, uh, I mean, even, even, do you know what? Not even a thank you from when we done the anniversary last year. Um, they just seem to have forgot about you. Yeah. Um, I mean, the good thing is, you've got good friends around me, even just like, 
yeah. giant Jackie that's done the uh, just giving yeah your Twitter and stuff yeah you're just giving so people can donate to help yeah. back you as well what is your just giving page called um I'll put the link at the bottom yeah we put anyway. a link on the app to show I think it's um because I know you don't deal with the social media stuff it's uh, Jackie that's doing it yeah Jackie and Jane are doing it yeah so, um I think it's called the uh, Line of London Bridge. Yeah. Just giving or crowdfunding or Royal Line of crowdfunding. Um, yeah, but I mean, you say you've got the link yeah, there. Yeah, we'll put which, the link there. Yeah. How, how are you feeling doing interviews and stuff now? I don't know. I just want to think about the um, crowdfunding. I've said to, and it's on the crowdfunding thing, if I do get my compensation, I will give that money to charity. Yeah. So where it was donated, I'll give some money to charity and everything mm. else. So. Yeah, definitely. And we spoke about that earlier, yeah. which we would do. So, for people who are getting compensated just now, how much are they getting? They don't know. I'll, they won't tell me. Nah. <laughs> Some people won't tell me, like, some things. And I think if you try, if you try and find out, which I have done, they, they individual cases are different. Yeah, it's best to just keep your hands clean because yeah. if they're obviously not paying the compensation, then you don't want to fuck up yes. anywhere along See, the line. See, the spending sentence is finished. Everything, it's, just, it's called a buffer, which is time un unspent or spent or whatever it goes on to record for a couple more years did you think for one minute that you would have you would have got not you wouldn't have got accepted for the compensation you, know you wouldn't even i don't even think about compensation medals everything else um you, what do you mean at the time of the terrorist yeah at the, just before it was just natural before, reaction when they when knocked which, you back for compensation oh, well, did you expect for, that it was, do you know what? Well, I've read about things. You do get percentage knocked off um, for some criminal records you have. But there again, it depends on um, how long ago, what, what it's for. I think if you've done something violent, I think you get a lot more taken off. Or I think it goes, I think if you've got like certain bad, bad, um, bad record, I think you just get knocked back anyway. Yeah. But these are just. Um, but there's nothing that's like this, your case. It's nothing ever been like this. No. For what you did to basically throw yourself in front of a two wheel, two knife men to help others get away. That's never been Yeah. Done. Luckily, I've saved my life as you know well I mean? by doing it. Um, shame we weren't at the beginning. But Do you think it's made you look at life a bit differently? I love space a lot, yeah. yeah. Appreciate it a bit more. And as much as it can be difficult, but to realise that you're still here. So many people lost their life that day. So many people were injured. Yeah. And the fact that you're still here to tell the tale, you're here for a reason, Roy. Mm. Especially not just the terrorist attack. I mean, it's even kids, kids as young as 10 there, going to school with knives. Just, I mean, you hear it every day, all over the country. Yeah. People like, probably attacking each other with knives and all that. Um, it's a good job I didn't see them suicide belts as well, which... Yeah. Um, if you yeah, see I mean, them, it's going to, you're probably going to run do you know what I mean? If you see belts, people... There's always innocent belts. people that... I mean... You could, yeah, you can't say it in that situation. So when you were in the pub and you seen belts, knives, bombs, what they shout Allah? They shout about Allah, Islam, I didn't really... Um, I mean, Bill, I was just sitting on a chair like this, comfortable, because we was in no trouble. Did you think it was a joke or anything? Did you... It could have been, or they could have been looking for someone else. That This is... Nah, they just fucking at Because they never had any trouble, really, down that way. Mm -hmm. And we just thought there might have been a fight or someone trying to do look for someone. And he's waving a knife out in front of me. He's waving it out in my face. And all of a sudden, he's just plunked it into me twice. And next thing he has, I just jumped up, said a few words. <laughs> if I can repeat them. Yeah, I can repeat them. Uh, fuck you, Millwall. <laughs> or fuck, in that sort of way. That's what, <laughs> that's what, my, that's what someone told me. Fuck you, said, I'm Millwall. There's a lot of things I couldn't remember <laughs> how I ran out of there. <laughs> and I've run over, and I've just tried to fight for him. Trying to fight myself. The mm. other person's got through the one with the um, Arsenal top, and as I say, um, he did stab someone else in there at the time, but it's only when the bloke was running out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've got, I've got about six, I've got eight stab wounds, I've got slices, um, my arm's still not right. I mean, my tendons and all that are still two years later. Um, trauma, I still get trauma. Do you have nightmares? It was sometimes, especially maybe the winter times, you know, when like... Dark nights. Yeah. And even the fireworks. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes yeah, when yeah. they're firing. Is that because of the gunshots after yeah. that? I mean, I asked, I asked the police, I, mean, I thought it went on for about five minutes, but he said it's only like been seconds. Yeah. Um, it's probably because the echoing 
or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's all been positive. Um, it's just a not back. Yeah. And as I say, I'm still chasing up my cancelling. Um, I will appeal against the compensation. Um, so what's the appeal system like then for the appeal after you've been knocked back? I think one more appeal, which takes 56 days. For, I think there's something there with extreme circumstances. Um, I've left it with my hands, Mr. Sitter. And then you can, you've got another three months to appeal after that. I think to take them to court and then get them mm -hmm. to try and just yeah. try to prove it as a stream circumstance. Yeah, I think it's just about keeping clean and sober, keeping your head held high yeah. because doors will open, Roy. Doors will open, whether it's documentaries or we spoke about it earlier. People maybe writing a book, yeah. telling your story. Mm. We spoke to my friend Sean Atwood who is more than happy to do a book for you. So for anybody watching, uh, contact Roy. We'll put an email for people to get in contact where for any opportunities mm. for you to tell your story because your story is... It's an unbelievable story. It's just a battle afterwards. The yeah. last two years, it's if been I'm a honest, Roy, you're going to be battling till the day yeah. you die now. The same as all the parents of Manchester bombings, yeah. the families of the London Bridge, they're still fighting. Have still, they been in contact with you or anything? I haven't been in contact with them. I said hello at the inquest. Um, I mean, the Manchester ones, I don't really know, but it is a battle. And yeah. you just got to keep trying and keep carrying on. Keep fighting. Yeah. So obviously Millwall's got the reputation ah, of, go. <laughs> of being hard, hard bastards. They're one of the biggest firms out there. Do you think being a Millwall fan helped you of on that it day? Did, yeah. Yeah. I think it just shows that in them circumstances that you're not Yeah. You're not scared of like certain things like you're scared to you you have to stick the boot in. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Have you been I mean we went we went to Wembley, we won the playoff final about two weeks before that. Uh-huh. So Luckily, well, good. They must have wait. They must have thought we ain't going over there then. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has got the reputation in London. London is a very, very. It's a tough place as well. Of course it is. I mean, um, it's, yeah, it's it's like most Londonese. Yeah, where it was always states. Did it? It's, yeah. it's not way like you got. Yeah, are you missing going to the games and that now? I missed it last two seasons. I was picking and choosing which games to go, mm. um, because I won't like to watch football. Yeah. Um, this season, I'm going to start going again and just see how things go. Good. Um, Work on your confidence. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, I love my football. Yeah. I just hopefully um, they, <laughs> they can do well. Yeah. and We're I not get... the biggest, we're not the uh, the uh, Premier League yet, but we're the biggest small club in the world. Yeah. The smallest big club <laughs> and everything else. Do you think you will get back to the Premier League? We've never been in it. We've never been oh, into, have never been I into the Premier League. I thought you were in the Premier League three yeah. years ago, no? Nah, we've never been into the Premier League. You never know, one day. Fucking shite, so he's out of... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he can fight, man, because he must be angry every week. <laughs> well, that's what we are. We're used to it. But, um, you never know, one day. All right, oh, so... But, but when were you in the playoff? We That's from the um, first division. Oh, was it that first yeah, division? That's what the I'm thinking of then. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're a bit like yo-yo teaming up and down. Yeah. But we've got good, we've got good sponsors just coming there. Mm -hmm. They're spending money. So hopefully... Um, yeah, hopefully we go. We'll still be going if it if we was in the bottom league. Yeah, we'll still be going. Yeah, yeah. there's strong fans, huh? Yeah, we're strong fans. It's nice just to, um, yeah, it's a shame about the football on the pitch, yeah. but yeah, hopefully but they, list, they might be listening and like yeah, perk up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so going forward for the future for yourself, what's the plans for you now, though? The future is um, just try and get try and get the airs in, try and get the most important one is try and get the cancelling because you're gonna need it. You gonna have your you gonna have your setbacks. Um, at the moment, I've got good people around me, which are helping me well. Yeah. Um, Does that keep you on the straight and narrow? Keep me on the straight and narrow, yeah. Um, it, I mean, there's times where I just drop myself away and just think, oh, I'll be, unso be unsociable. But hopefully you've got to look at life. You've got to look for the future. Yeah. Um, yeah, you change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. There's nothing um, worse than being... I know I've had a trauma, but... You've got to try and fight it. You've got to be stronger on it and try and yeah. not letting people beat you in the long run. Yeah, and that's the main thing. I've done the hard bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I survived that bit. Yeah. And like, you just got to keep fighting and fighting and fighting. Yeah, and it's for what you've been through, mate. It's, yeah. No words can describe it. It's easy for me to sit here and say you can, that people can do this and do that. Yeah. You don't know unless you're in that situation. And the fact that you didn't run, the fact that you stood and you yeah. fought and... It's bravery, mate. It's, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it's a very rare thing that happens. Yeah. And you don't know what happens 
you're never going to um, say, people come up to say, I would have done this, I would have done that. You can't prepare yourself yeah. for that. You're just stuck in that moment. Um, it's just sad though that the press, what they do is make you a hero and then, yeah, then, they, and then they fucking make you, you fall flat yeah. in your face. Because right now, anyway, anywhere you, your name's mentioned, it will sell papers. Of course, I've got to be learned to be good. I've yeah. got to learn to be quiet. Yeah. Has uh, people treat, has the press been okay with you though? You must have a lot of good people that's gave you good stories and good headlines. Yeah, they've been um, they've been okay. They've they've reported the um about the conversation and everything else. Um and Piers Morgan show put um only the other week he said about it on his show, which brought in a debate. Yeah. Whether I should get it or not, and it's all been positive. But that's what you need is yeah. a debate and it's good to see it's over ninety percent of people are backing you. So Piers sticks by his um, yeah, what he his says words, though. Yeah. yeah. We'll do a post and we'll tag him in it. And yeah, again, he's controversy man. But yeah. if he says something, he will follow it through. He doesn't care what people think. He doesn't yeah. care what they say. And I'm behind you 110 percent with this as well. I believe yeah. I mean, you deserve compensation. Well, I'm not in no political pool party. I'm not involved in any um, yeah. religion things. Everything else. I mean, just the football team. Yeah, because <laughs> the papers are thrown. Yeah, that's what they do. Is whether people are racist, left wing, right wing, yeah. fascist, so it's all the all these names get through about for everybody nowadays. And yeah, it's just got um, yeah, and there will be times. I mean, where people have tried to ask you questions and try to put you that way. Yeah, and they'll try and twist things. And but that's yeah. that's media for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was pretty paranoid at that beginning. Which, yeah, nah, nah. Just You're got, used to it now. You, well, you just you just got to just keep focused all the time, haven't you? Yeah, not keep worrying about things. Just be back to normal. And so, how do we get? people to back you Roy how do we get just the just giving page it's just giving um, uh, Roy Lana mm -hmm. and Jane Jacobs yeah. is I'll put the links for yeah we put a link up and, and also for the counselling thing how can anybody get involved because you're looking for somebody to give you counselling if there is any counselling out there um, yeah. the platform just to um, I've been diagnosed four or five times by the Maudsley which is the um, main hospital I still haven't had that one-to-one -one counselling yet. Just need someone if there was any setbacks. Mm -hmm. At least you've got someone um, you can rely on. Yeah. They did set up um, a trauma team after the two incidents in London. But that finishes in September. All she can do is just pass people on. So really from September... You've not got anyone. Not got anyone. And really, they just pass you on to people and you've just got to go on a waiting list. I said that. So basically, been, yeah. after two years then, yeah, on you go. I mean, there was times where I was sitting there and I just end up, I don't know, just smashing things, just anger. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's understandable. Yeah. Flashbacks, yeah. trauma, you see a lot of boys in the army with the PTSD course, yeah. and that's just a dealing with frustration yeah. and anger, hearing voices. They even have to fight for their... Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. not, it's, um, I think things need to change, especially a lot of people who are homeless just now, a lot of boys who have served in the yeah. army. And I mean, I'm not worried about the medals. I mean, everyone's got medals at the um, London Bridge. I mean, there's a couple of George medals. Got any of that? The, the, there Your was name is put forward, though, for that medal. And that's the, My the name biggest, is put forward, yeah. I mean, there was, for bravery. I think there's six different petitions mm -hmm. that for the George medal, which I think the total are about 30,000 people. You, it's, it's frustrating, mate, it's, to, it's strange. to see you struggling like yeah, this yeah. for what you've been through, mate. As in Glasgow, we had the terrorist attack at Glasgow Airport. I think one of the guys, Smito or John Smito, mm. he says on the news, come to Glasgow and we'll set about you. Yeah. This guy was hailed a hero. Yeah. He was given medals, he was everywhere speaking, mm. and it's came out that he never actually did fuck all. There right. was actually other gotcha, yeah. taxi drivers there fighting, and yeah. I think some people broke their legs or damaged their ligaments were fighting them off. It's just the media can make or break your life the as well. The second day of the inquest, the Old Bailey, there was a um, video showed me being stabbed twice at the finger bob. Mm hmm um, I think that was only one of the. Um, I think there's only a couple of uh, CCTVs they showed. They done a, uh, a press ban on it. They only showed so many things. Um, even that, I didn't. Have, I couldn't see until the next day because they didn't know it was going to be played. Yeah. And then they had to show me this full CCTV. Um, how's the police been with you? Counter terrorism police have been okay, but then there's the counter terrorism prevent people, and I think they've been a bit. Bit too nosy because with all the social media, mm -hmm. not social, yeah, maybe because of all the, um, there was marches going on and everything. And I think they was keeping an army, see whether I was doing anything, which I don't do. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I've because they flicked into all that stuff for you and yeah you're clean as you're clean yeah. you, you don't follow all yeah. the bullshit and nah. take sides of religion or politics yeah um but again it doesn't matter your fucking I beliefs is, man i don't think they've been they were that helpful but even down to the cctv there's bits in it that they didn't show me the full cctv why are they not backing you Roy? i don't know that's a legal reason yeah, because why are they not backing you why are you not getting the full support of everyone i don't know how it's mind-boggling, It's eh? mind-boggling, but at the same time, I don't really want to keep thinking it. Yeah. Yeah, Because in true. case you, you're just thinking, and have they got something against you? Yeah. Um, but it's sad to think that your own people are thinking that way, and I understand that some of the law is there, but for things like this, man, it, it shouldn't yeah. be in place. It's, it's fucking scary, mate. It's scary. I mean, next thing there is probably just, I don't know how to go about these things, maybe going to the MPs and start... Yeah. Asking them for help. I think the, the more noise you create, I think the more people will come forward and help yeah. you. Yeah, and I'm in the right frame of mind to do it the right way. It's time yeah. to shout in them. Yeah, because if you do that, then that gives them the ammunition to say, yeah. "He's look, we, we told you." So yeah. it's best to kick, stay calm, stay clear-headed, stay on the path. And the more people you speak to, the more doors yeah. it will open I mean, for I mean, you. I go around talking to people, and even people just watching the what was unfolding that night, still having traumas, still having like nightmares yeah um, and they weren't involved in it yeah um, are you in contact with anybody who was in the pub that night yeah I still talk to I still talk to everyone around the market do you ever go back to that pub yeah I've been through there a few times how does that feel it's like a restaurant bar I only popped in there for the last drink yeah and he got killed <laughs> <laughs> I was on my way home it's <laughs> crazy it's crazy yeah and that how second, does it feel being back in there it makes me feel that I'm not scared yeah yeah I'm not scared of that. Hopefully, I'll, if it happened, I touch with it, it'll never happen again. But if it did happen, <laughs> fuck that, that'll be it. <laughs> <laughs> um, hopefully, if, if it did happen, do you know what? I won't be scared to go and do it again. Yeah. Yeah. That's a brave thing to say. Yeah, I won't. Um, it's a very brave thing to say. It's. <clears throat> I think everybody should get behind Roy and support you because, again, I know you're not caring about medals and shit like that, but you deserve it because the appreciation that you did do. Yeah. Any man who saves anyone's life, there's kids there running about and you potentially saved it their lives. It would be lives. interesting to see how many lives Do you know what I mean? That you did save. save yeah. Fighting people and fighting them off. Even if I saved my own life. Yeah. That's one, it's one like, factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, you're here to tell the tale but I do believe people watching this, Roy, will take motivation from it. Yeah. Um, any man who admits their faults also is a brave man. So that alone yeah. shows me what kind of man you are. You're not sitting here shying away from the fuck ups that you've done in the no, past. I've kept away. I was invited to America. I was invited to like award medals over in America and all that. But I couldn't. I wasn't in the frame of mind yeah. going. People invited me to this place, that place. Um, but it, now, it's all yeah. like it's all good gesture. But now, Roy, anything I would grasp it with both hands because yeah. you deserve to be. Or if there's anything I can give back, yeah, in like some way, you know what I mean. Someone might be interested or some things with charities yeah. things like that I mean I'm always welcome because you've been in American yeah. news and stuff as well telling yeah. your story Fox News yeah. ABC how was that RT you shutting yourself yeah like yeah <laughs> <laughs> same as here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got mad jock telling me like <laughs> <laughs> I know it's, uh, that is scary you're used to it <laughs> yeah yeah. this is what I love and it's good to give people a platform without things getting twisted yeah without things getting twisted no, I appreciate twisted. it I mean yeah as soon as I seen the story I, I contacted um, yeah. straight away on Twitter to get you on the show to yeah. help promote get the Just Giving page going and yeah, as much it. support we can give you mate you've got my backing and as I say if I do get a conversation then that, some of them go to catch out with you and things like that yeah. so yeah. Um, it's another good cause then which... of course mate and it's again it's just to keep speaking it keep and fighting keep it and keep updating yourself on what's happening yeah, yeah yeah we'll speak every day so anything we can do back up in Scotland let me know um, anytime you want back on to yeah. get an update you're more than welcome, but for coming here today, telling your story, because I know it must be hard. And if there's any good football players out there, will come, <laughs> come to me all in that bed. <laughs> nah, fuck that, nah, I didn't leave her. <laughs> um, but it's been an absolute pleasure, hey, brother. Jim, and well, all the best for the future. Yeah, and thanks for, I really hope, thanks for having me on the show. And, um, yeah. I really appreciate you. And I really hope it all works out for you. Yeah, no, you deserve it. You're a diamond. Hope you're again anyway. Yeah, and we'll put the link for the Just Giving page to help Roy out. So anybody 
We'll also put an email for people who's maybe want to get in contact to maybe also get interviews and contact the manager. Good guy. So yeah, you're a good guy. Once again, man. thank so, you. Yeah, pleasure, appreciate brother. it. Thank, thank you very you. much.